Today I'm going to be showing you guys the absolute best way to export your music videos from Premiere Pro to get the highest quality possible. Alright guys, so we have this Cash Dummy music video here that I filmed and edited. As you guys can see, the timeline is absolutely insane. So I'm going to go to the very beginning of my clip. So you're going to hit I at the very beginning and it's going to create this in marker right here. And then we're going to go to the very end, holding Alt and scrolling, holding Alt and scrolling in, go to the very end of the clip right before it cuts off, go back one frame and then hit O and then everything here is selected. Now we're going to go and we're going to press Control M on our keyboard and that's just a shortcut to pop up the export settings. Once we have this set up here, make sure you have your source set to in and out, not entire source, work area, custom, whatever, in and out, because that's what we just marked. And once you guys have that done, we're going to go to our format and we're going to select QuickTime. So your video codec, we're going to change that to Apple 4Res 422. If you want a little bit higher quality, you can do 422HQ and the list goes on. So let's say we're going for the highest quality, 442H2. We're going to make sure render at maximum depth is checked and we're going to change the depth from 8-bit to 16 bit and then we're going to use maximum render quality now make sure you guys don't turn this on here render alpha channel only or it'll render your entire video white and i recommend putting time interpolation to frame sampling you guys can try optical flow but it's up to you guys and then going into our audio i like having it at 4800 hertz at 16 bit and then everything else here i really don't think matters i would just leave it all right and now this step is super important guys you guys go on and click on here and name it we're going to call this cash dummy 33 final export hit save and then boom if you guys want to save this preset here you can click on these three dots and hit save preset and we can call this music video highest quality preset hit okay and then every time you want to render a video you can just scroll down and click on this right here and boom it's that easy now this is a super important part here guys instead of just clicking export i highly recommend sending it to media encoder now once we do this we're going to hit okay and it should load for a second now it's going to open a second app which is adobe media encoder all right now once this is loaded up it's going to open the project It'll pop up here at the bottom. If this is your guys' first time using Media Encoder, you guys won't have all these ones here. It'll just be the one at the bottom. We're going to go up here and we're going to hit Start Queue and it's going to start encoding the video. Now, the best part about Adobe Media Encoder is you guys can stop and resume the render whenever you want. So if there's something else you have to do on your computer, you can stop it. Whereas if you're just rendering from Premiere Pro, it's really annoying. You can't really stop it. And your computer will actually crash a lot more frequently compared to using Media Encoder, which I find hasn't crashed for me at all, guys. It is the absolute sauce. If you guys enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out our last video, which is how to get 3D models for absolutely free. And we have this other video here, which is a rotoscoping tutorial, super easy to follow along. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.